Aha! Hi there, my hearties! Dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform, and we're live with show 108. How good is that? Our 108th show, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform, and here we are all together. It looks like it's going to be a tremendous show tonight, so come and join us, Dinky do. I say you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. You've called me that. I can't actually do a thing about that. So there you are. Fantastic as it is. Now, uh, a very, very important program tonight. So what you need to do is tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and uh, let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live just for you. Saying dinky do. We've only got one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information education and entertainment not just for one nation but for every nation right across the world so make sure you are sharing and sharing and sharing do Gurney says good evening good evening to you my darling and a kiss to you give amanda crombie a shout out dinky do scotty says william renfrew good evening says christine garvin a very good evening to you christine dinky do says nori grozia hi scotty says robbie cross Hi, Robbie. Dinky do. Welcome along. Good evening, Mr. Dinky. Says Keith Glasgow. Dinky do, of course. Never change the brand. And then Pauline Morales has joined us. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Share, share, share. Says John P. Hazelton. Fantastic. You get that bonnet on, says Jerry McGurk. The bonnet is here and can go on at any time. Hello, says Ian Hills. Hello, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. There's Robert Peck. Dinky do, Robert. Robert, I'm glad you've come and joined us. That's superb. And thanks very much. You would notice I posted today just to say that we're, we're live. Where's the bunny? Shared. Better King Patton's watching. Did you do? Hi, Denise, says Stephen Dunn. Excellent stuff. I thought we'd try bareheaded for the start. Hello, Scotty, says Robert. Excellent, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. And tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure. Live. Live big style on Facebook Live. That's the big one. Excellent stuff. Karen Blair is watching. Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Scotty. Hope you had a good weekend. I did, Thomas. And I hope you did as well. Karen Blair is watching. Gordon Elric. Lovely. You're looking smooth tonight, says John Adams. Thank you, John. Life in the dog yet, I always say. Well done to Rangers for another great victory today, says John Wilson. I shall check, John Wilson, that our Celtic viewers agree with you. So there we are. Excellent stuff. That's that. Eddie Doby Sr. has joined us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lots to discuss. You'll see I posted earlier on the Facebook page. I hope that you all get to see all the posts. And I posted earlier just to say that uh, Princess Eugenie Prince Andrew's daughter is uh, getting married and people are carping that uh, D. Gurley says, hi, Stephen. Hi, Scotty. Says Sapphire D. Thomas. Sapphire D. Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. People are carping about the two million cost of the wedding that the taxpayers are going to pick up. But listen, sober up every single one of you. The royal family gives us all a sense of hope. Everyone loves the royal family. Get your back eye out, says says Lewis Clark. Yes, it's just a lamp, Lewis. So there you are. That might be shining in your face big style. So there we are. Excellent. Now then, we have so much to talk about. So we're looking at that tonight. Do people understand? Evening, Scotty. How are you, sir? Says Ian Bark. Great, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Evening, my friends of Jim Clark. Hey, Scotty. Says Els Nana. Els Nana. Thanks very much for joining us. Much appreciated. Alex Glass is watching. Come and join us, Alex. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Wadge has joined us. Wadge, hush me. Dinky do Wadge. Lovely to have you with us. Councillor Henry Anderson's watching. Excellent. Good to know you there, Henry. And Sharice has joined us as well. We like that. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Sharice from me, Scotty McClue. Now, guys, do you accept that it is excellent value. The Royal Family cost us maximum 62 pence 
a year, right? Any uh, bill for the royal wedding will be for security and policing. We pay the security and the police anyway. All right, oi, oi. Uh, Kiki, come on, says J. Clark, didn't you do? Any other princesses? So somebody done that. Ten in a row, Scotty, says Jerry McGurk. Excellent, Jerry. M.C. Smilly. Yeah, that's my name, says Callum Milling. So there we are. Uh, Sharice says, okay, yes, we're okay, Sharice. We're very, very busy tonight. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in. We only have one hour of superb scintillation information, education, and entertainment, as you all well know. So there you are. Excellent to have everybody with us. Les Hoey, uh, from Les Hoey MBE, the Dream Maker Foundation. Les Hoey, welcome, 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 I say. Jay Clark, what a belter. Thank you, Jay, and your good self. How was your week, says Wadge? Wadge, my week has been absolutely outstanding. Uh, me too, says Sharice. Yes, of course, Sharice, we're not forgetting you. They bring income into the economy, says Robert Softly. And how, Robert, what's brought in by one family in trade and tourism more than anyone else could ever bring in in a lifetime, one year. So give the royal family a break, I say, and get off their back. The Torbets are on in force tonight, Scotty. Uh, the Sherberts are on in force, I think. Wad says, I had a night shift last night of 11 hours. Good Wadge, good for you. Excellent stuff, you brave boy. Thank you for working towards building the economy of this great com country. Let's hope that they don't blow it by going ahead with this ridiculous Brexit thing. That should be cancelled tomorrow. Rescind Article 50, apologise to the EU for mucking them about, and off we jolly well go. Uh, an absolute belter, says Sharice. It is Sharice. It's wonderful tonight and lovely to have so many of you with us now. OMG, let's have a share. I'm just going to check that everything on here is working as it should. So excellent. Dinky do, Scotty, says Stephen Wearmouth. Lovely to have you with us, Stephen. Dinky do. Welcome, everyone from around the world. Now, if you're watching us in New Zealand or Australia, India, Africa, Canada or America, do let us know big style. Always lovely to have you with us, I say. I'm just going to, Thomas, if you could keep off trying to talk to me when we're in the middle of a show, that would be fantastic. I don't mind you posting, love, but uh, if we keep off the talk, that's the uh, X. See if we get that shot right. That's that. Now, here I go. I'm going to do a bit of sharing, and I hope you're all going to do the same, guys. Very, very important, okay? So there we are. Share, 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 share. I'm fed up with the Brexit debates. Robert Softly, we are not debating Brexit. I'm just saying, I hope that they cancel it ASAP. Right, so what happens here, Scotty, you big cracker? What a nostalgic voice to hear, says Stephen V. Lavelle. Lovely to be back with you, Stephen V. Lavelle. We have one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Wait till I get... Uh, Catherine off there. That, that's excellent. Now, uh, we are sharing and sharing and sharing, I say. Has everybody shared? There we are. I'm just going to share right now. Splendid Sunday evening to you, Scotty. Smart but casual, Scotty. Lovely jubbly, says Edward McAleer. Neil O'Gormley there. The splendid Sunday evening. We should, but do you honest... Uh, Christine, please, language, language. I've got young people watching this. Do you honestly think the EU will say I, I? Mon bike like. Yes, I mean, I think they would. They'd be delighted for goodness sake. They don't want us to go because we add to the big lot and we'd be at the mercy of places like America and China. So there you are. Alex Robertson's watching. And um, Sharice can't share nothing new in that, I say. Uh, right, there we are. More sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. Let everyone know that we have started. There we are. Tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty, what do you think of Celtic's new disco light 
Yes, I don't mind. Whatever Celtic do to promote themselves, everybody will welcome it, including the Rangers. Glasgow United, Sunday nights would not be the same without you, says Peter. Thank you, Peter. Scotty, she can't share. There's no news, says John. Language, please, says Sharice. Absolutely. And Sharice, you know all about watching that um, Oh, not to say a naughty word. We know not to say a naughty word. Right, guys, what time are we at? Good. Can everybody do a bit of sharing? Share, tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10. Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. We are the people, says Sharice. I'm sure you are, Sharice. Yes, says John Adams. Yes to you, John Adams, whatever that act actually meant so there you are but yes is yes yes means yes when will people realize that davy Biddle's watching thank you do davy lovely to have you with us you're watching scotty mcclue and i am the world stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet Derek jimmy walker's watching come on and join us Derek jimmy walker don't be shy we don't have any wallflowers on here we are us, Scotty McClure. Do you like Big Brother, Scotty? Frank Crombie. I nearly got into the final of Big Brother. I auditioned for Big Brother. So there we are. Funky do. No, no, dinky do. Don't muck about with the brand. Don't change anything. Derek Jimmy Walker. Shared the world's best broadcaster on my wall, says Robbie Crossan. Excellent. Good luck to your wall, I say. Glasgow's red, white, and blue, says John Wilson, and it will also be green and white and gold as well. So nice is cleared up, Scotty. Yes, not too bad. You can see there we are. I'm watching while walking home from my mum's, says Scott O'Hare. Scott O'Hare, there is nothing wrong with that at all. That is very much allowed. Brian Keswick's watching Dinky Doo, Brian. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty a clue and we're live on Sunday night. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's talking about. This is the one everyone's watching. The only global talk show live on Facebook Live that everybody wants to watch. This, mark my words, is the new television. And whether or not you think I am an oil painting or not doesn't matter because Dinky Doo, good evening, says Jacqueline Farrell. Can he say funky? Uh, yes, you can say funky. There's no problem with that. Uh, and you can say fun day. There's no problem with that. You can say all these things. Where's your hat? Says Scotter here. It is here. Scotter here. I haven't donned it yet because people said, look, Scotty, just run with the paint. Tra la 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 la. There we are. Touch wood. Scotty, some flowers for you. Thank you. What happened to the shot and tie, Scotty? Says Edward McAleer. It can come back any time. Press the wrong letters on the keyboard. Says Derek Jimmy Walker. No problem. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty. Says Lee Fern. Good evening, Mr. McClure. Says Davy Mortimer. Good evening, Davy. Mary Hall McClelland. Making tablet and listening. Good for you, Mary Hall McClelland. And we would love to sample your tablet. A fine, fine Scottish dish. Thank you to Run Rig for 45 years of great music. Absolutely. We'll maybe do a wee Loch Lomond uh, for Run Rig later. What you like, lovey, didn't you do? I've got sciatica, says Derek. Because when you say you've got sciatica, is it because you've got the wrong size of shoe on? Are you saying, now, these are sixes and sciatica seven? Right? Blair J. Gillespie. Bonjour, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Bonjour, ça va? Je m'appelle Scotty McClue. Je suis le professeur de la radio. Ah, le euh, dimanche soir. 
There we are. Nithers, Nithers, de Montchoir. We, we, Paul Carter is watching Scotty. Tell Anne Hearty I'm missing her, says Edward McAleer. Tell her yourself. I love Ron Reed, says Sharice. We all do. Why, I'm man, Scotty McClue, says Jacqueline McFarlane. There we are, Gordon Roddick. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening to you, Gordon Roddick, one of the world's top broadcasters. Lovely to have you with us, sir. I salute you. Hi, Scotty, from Surprise, Arizona. Loved listening to you. Back in the Scott FM days, says Stu Brody, who's out in Arizona, in the United States of America. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Dinky-doo, Elizabeth Sharice. Paul Wilkinson, lovely to have you with us. I've got it in my back and legs. I've got a stick. Derek Jimmy Walker, I'm sorry. I wasn't making light of your sciatica. So there we are. I have psoriasis, Scotty. So there are Dovibet ointment and Alvino cream. Great stuff, dinky do. I have both beside me here, the Dovibet and the lovely Alvino. Uh, Derek says, uh, Charisse dinky do. Many languages do you speak? I can barely do one, says Robbie Crossan. You could speak lots, Robbie Crossan. You could say in Russian, Previet, and good night to the Svidania. Or you could say in French, Bonsoir, je m'appelle Robbie, Robbie Crossan. Oui, um, je suis écossaise. I'm from Scotland. Uh, ha ha, that's it, okay, says Derek J. Walker. Hi, says John Watt. Hi, John. You should go to Ockham Crove in South Ayrshire. They have a cafe open every Friday, Saturday, Sunday at 10 till 3.30 uh, p.m. Thank you for an advert for the Ockham Crove Cafe. Tony Mac's watching. Thank you, do, Tony Mac. Lovely to have you with us. I hope you're well. Another of the country's great broadcasters. I've got psoriasis on Manapa. It does my heat in. Absolutely. So there you are. And uh, Therese Para says uh, Frank Crombie. Absolutely. Nicht Deutsch sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. So there we are. What was that? Anybody know? Uh, been there, says Charisse. Charisse, you've been to lots of places. I don't think the program's long enough to name them all. Can we have more sharing, please? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. I shall do some sharing as well. Here we are here, and uh, we shall just share the live video. That's it. And we'll share to a page, guys. So one of the pages, it's no funny, right? Says, says, no, we never said it was. Hi, Scotty, bless you. You're always my radio hero, says Tony Mac, and you are mine, sir. I salute you. So there we are. Just going to post now, guys, and uh, one post on there to let everybody know we're live. You're a foreigner. You don't understand, says Stephen Wearmouth. You are correct, Stephen Wearmouth. There we are. Nicht Deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht the stain. All right, so excellent stuff. I'm a fauna, and I don't speak German. I don't understand. Je ne connais pas, je ne parle pas français. Je ne parle pas français. Très vite, si tu peux en demander, peut-être je comprends, oui? Um, zero all over. Scotty, this would be more like your old show if you invited some randoms into your broadcast to debate things. With, of course, nowadays it's hard to debate anything in case of causing offence, says Stephanie V. Lavelle. Stephanie, the problem is if I uh, do the messenger, it interrupts the broadcast. So there you are. Sharice, no comprender. No comprender. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the World's Top Broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet. We're live on Facebook Live, the World's Top Broadcast platform. Stephen Nunnally is watching Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Now, I think I have a bonnet here. Would you prefer... The old bonnet on. Is that better, I ask you? Hang on. Got a little piece of fluff there. There I must have a word with the butler. Um, right. So that's what we're looking at now. Does everybody agree with me 100% that whether or not the next raw wedding, right, Prince's um, um, 
it'll come up in a wee second. The next Royal Wedding, all right. And um, it's going to cost £2 million, pounds, but that's for the security and the police. It's everybody quite happy to pick up the tab because I am, I think, the Royal Family are superb value. All right. Uh, you can invite a guest into your broadcast. I'm sure Stephanie V. Lavelle. This is work in progress. Bonnet on, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Absolutely, Derek Jimmy Walker. There it goes. Uh, like this or like that? Yes, I used to go out with an optician, and she always said that to me. Is it better like this or like that? And I would say, again, please. Um, better on, better off, better on, better off. What, what do we think? The Napa or the bonnet, right? Entirely up to your good selves. I don't mind either way. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Now, what have we got here? Let's just see what's going on, guys. So there we go. I'm just running down a little bit, and we'll see what's happening. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, if we could share, that would be tremendous. So lots and lots of sharing. So there we are. What have we got here? Ah, uh, excellent. There's my old chum, Paul Goff. Uh, don't miss Goffy. Excellent stuff. Should not be taxpayer funded. Well, I think it should, Robbie Cross. And I'll tell you for why. Uh, because they cost us so little and bring us in so much. It's a very small price to pay. Bunna on the Napa, says Eddie Dobby Senior. She says, either way, she's not bothered. They're billionaires. They should pay for themselves. No, they're not billionaires, Robbie Cross. And this is what you don't understand. The royal family are the curators of the crown and the custodians of the crown. All the billions that you think are national state assets, they belong to you and they belong to me. They're what's called the state. You and I shall pass through the world as the royal family shall pass through the world and on it will go. So there we are. John Watt says, with all family paid for my wedding, why should they, John Watt? You are not bringing in billions of pounds to the country. Once you start contributing fortunes, then we can look at paying your wedding. No problem at all. Bonnet always on. It's your trademark, says Robbie Crossan. So there we are. So, Robbie, you need to get your head round that, right? I would like, if Scotland goes independent, then I would like to make sure that all the royal assets that we've got here, we look after them, and the Queen comes to Scotland. She is our sovereign lady. All right, the crown is sovereign. So don't start mixing it up with, oh no, the people are sovereign. Otherwise, you will never, ever, ever smell independence, far less actually get it. Uh, shame about the big guns. Parkinson's very sad. Yes, uh, Billy Connolly, his Parkinson's are affecting when I saw that Sir Michael Parkinson, who is a great friend and uh, used to do wonderful interviews with Billy Connolly, had gone to see him and Billy wasn't entirely sure when they'd met. They have billions in private. Robbie Crossan, you can only use one lavatory at a time. You can only wear one suit. The billions don't matter. They're national assets. They're there anyway. They need to be used up. You don't seem to understand this. Your next argument will be that we have food banks. That is political. They can afford to pay for their own wedding. It's not like they're struggling to make ends meet, says somebody. Don't know who actually said that. Um, but in actual fact, it's nothing to do with struggling. They are paying for their own wedding, but the security and the policing gets picked up by the taxpayer, and it's a bargain. So press on, my dears. Scotty, there's something French looking about you tonight. Where's your onion necklace and your bike? Yes, I've got a touch of the onion Johnny's about me, haven't I? There is absolutely no doubt about that. Scotty McClue. Oui, je suis Francaise. Excellent. So there you are, Dino the Doug. Good comment, my boy. That's what we like to hear. Right, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to do some sharing, and I think you should do the same, guys. So excellent stuff. Get yourselves on. I've got another little device here. And... Uh, Oh, we'll just turn that down. There we go. And I'm going to share now, okay? Uh, share the post now. Share to a group. So I'm going to share to a group, and I'm going to put live now. 
right? Doing capitals. It's easier. Live, now, uh, share. There we are. Live, now, share. Okay, and I'm just going to send that out. So there we go. Let's do this, guys. Get sharing and sharing and sharing as quick as you possibly can. Okay, and uh, we'll get that on the go right now. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So if all of you can do the same, if you've got any groups, get sharing to the groups as well, guys. Just having a look here to see what's what. Excellent stuff and one to there. Right, there you are. So um, if you can do the sharing, you look like you're going to rob a hoose, says John Adams. I look like the cat burglar from what was the one with the big guy, um, James Stewart, wasn't it, that was in it, I think. Was that right? Have I got the right one? Is that an hello, hello shot? You have a yes, yes, see. Um, I'm only going to say this words. So there we are. Herr Flick, Herr Flick. Uh, Hablas Espanol, Scotty. Um, hola. That's about that one. See, si, see. Si. So there you are. Uh, wonderful stuff. Right. So what have we got here from some halfwit? Andy, maybe the politicians can stop scamming expenses and pay for the wedding security. There we are. Well, we'll pick up the tab for that because, as I say, it's a bargain. Neil Emsley's watching Dinky Doo, the wonderful Paul Harper, one of our finest broadcasts. Dinky Doo, Colin Roger and uh, John Gray, Paul Harper, one of our finest broadcasters. Dinky Doo to you from me, Scotty McClue. Excellent. Samantha Mackay is watching. Uh, when are we getting another steak lunch, Scotty, says Paul Harper. Lynn Miller is buying. Paul Harper, that would be lovely. You and I had lunch with Lynn Miller before, and what a fantastic lunch it was. And dinky do, I say. So there we are. Um, John Kinnear, how lovely to hear from you. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, if you've all just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, the world's great broadcast platform. Uh, James Cottis and John Kinnear, excellent. Come and join us, guys. We're talking about so many things tonight, but we're talking about the cost of the next royal wedding, £2 million for uh, security. Uh, so there we are, Derek Jimmy Walker, mugshot for Glasgow Police. He says, no, 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 you carry on. You take a wee selfie there. That'll be absolutely fine. Excellent stuff. Get sharing and sharing and sharing, guys. Can everybody share now? We're just coming up to share point number two, and that would be fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. John Adams. Yes, is that Paul with a big forehead? So there you go. We don't know what you're on about, John Adams. And I'd be surprised if you do, my dear fellow. Excellent stuff. Now then, uh, quick share. Share the post. Let everybody know what's happening. Share, 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 share. And uh, we'll just get that one on. And then I'm just good to share to the Scotty McClue pages as well, guys. And you can all do the same. Share to a page. And let's get it shared now so that everybody knows the program is on. Tell 10 to tell 10. We're spending too much, Scotty. Two million. What a joke. I know. Worth a lot more than that. Well worth the money. They're all family and a joy to have, says John Wilson. They are indeed. That's an excellent portrait behind you, Scotty, sir, says Frank Crombie. Thank you, Frank. That is very kind of you. I'll just put share here if that's okay. I'm just going to share it to Scotty McClure's page and uh, that'll come up right now. That lets everybody know we're broadcasting and as I say, if you can all do the same, that will be fabulous. So there we are. That's that one shared and I'll do one more and then we're back. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. Better late than never, uh, says David Rendall. Yes, you're always better late. Eddie Doby Sr., uh, <laughs> Gary Cross and I decide to tartan and crest for our clan. Have a look at my wall and see if you like it. 
I'm looking for a tap for my wedding. Any chance, Scotty? You've brightened up my night. So they are just wondering, do all family pay council tax or rent in the property as well? No point in that because the properties are ours, so we'd be paying the council tax and the rent. Are you with me? Uh, we should celebrate the Royal Family, says Scott over here. Hi, Denise, says Carol and Morgan, talking to her friend Denise. I'm just going to share again, guys, on the page. Excellent stuff. I'll share with that one. And then if you all do the same, it just lets everybody know that we're live right now. Fantastic stuff. And um, let me know what you're thinking. Alan Brown's watching in the United States of America or he may be in Annan in Scotland. In Annan? Oh, Alan Morrison. Dinky do a wee wave to you. We'll give you a wave. There we are. Have to watch waving because you could, in theory, lose the whole broadcast. And we don't want that. I'm just going to share to the Scotty McClure group. There we are. That's that done. And I'm also going to share, and you must all do the same, all your groups and your followers, guys. I'm just going to go on and share again to Scotty McClure page. Because I don't know if that one went through the last time. There it is. And there it is. Uh, yes, that's gone through. Excellent. Right, that's a bit of sharing. Share, 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 share. Scotty, can I borrow your crowbar? Says Dear of the Doug. What do you mean crowbar, Dear of the Doug? None of the buildings are owned. Where would be allowed to live in them? Robbie Crossan, you wouldn't like to live in them. So there you are. They are not practical. You wouldn't enjoy it. There's 463 rooms, I think, in Buckingham Palace. Remember, Buckingham Palace only cost five grand to buy. All right, so there we go. And it's a fabulous asset sitting there in SW1. Uh, so there you go. So there you are, Robbie Cross, and you can argue black's white, but you need to build up your knowledge. All right. Any word of you coming back on the radio soon? Says Tony Mac. Tony Mac, as I say, top level discussions are ongoing, and we will know very soon. I uh, wouldn't mind us picking up the tab for security as long as we could go to the wedding and the bar's free, says Jimmy Reynolds. I'm sure you could wangle um, a few drinks or something like that, Jimmy Reynolds. <laughs> So there you are. What about a street party? We need more street parties in Scotland to celebrate our royal family and our royal weddings. Can you say the next line? No last night, but the night before. I can't name it on because I wasn't actually there. Do you like that? So there we go. But uh, yes, I probably could. Uh, now, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. This is the new television. When on your television did you ever get one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every single nation? When did you last get that live without being interrupted by commercials. God bless all the royals, says Frank Trombey. I love living in castles. I holiday in different ones every year. Yes, but Robbie Crossan, this is slightly different. It was like somebody was saying they should give it to the homeless. The homeless are very vulnerable people. They would be terribly confused uh, walking around Buckingham Palace. You have to trust me on that. These are national assets so that our country looks good abroad. All right? All the tourists, all the visitors, wonderful, wonderful pageantry and tradition, right? Do you support the Royal Scotty? I do 100% Jason Crombie. So there we are. Very, very important. If Scotland goes independent, it has to remember we need a royal family because we need a, cur a curator and a custodian of the, uh, of the Scottish crown. Scotty. What do you think about poor soldiers committing suicide? Do you think the government's let them uh, down personally? I do, says John Wilson. Yes, I do actually think that uh, politically 
soldiers get a bit of a bad deal once they've left the services or they have to leave the services. So I really, really care passionately. Um, and I remember on my last radio station, I ran a campaign for looking after the soldiers when they'd come out of the services if they were uh, suffering from um, PTSD, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, and what could we do for them? So our veterans, uh, you know, we need all these wonderful charities, the British Legion, um, you know, the Poppy Charities, etc., etc., looking out for our veterans. Very, very important. The Americans love the royal family, says David Rendell. Of course they do. Uh, Hunter George is watching Dinky Doo. Thomas Hamilton has to go. Good night, Scotty. Soldiers get a very bad deal from our government, and saying that it doesn't happen in the UK, but they always have. I mean, all the ones that survived the First World War, they got a very, very tough deal. Scotty, me and the missus were married in Martha Street, and the cost was, can't remember, 20 quid. Shout out, Scotty. Hope you have a good week. Thank you. Just celebrated 13 years of marriage. Do you think more people? should be getting married. I know you think so, Tony Mac, because you've struck it lucky. You have struck gold with your missus. All right, Scotty, you mad bampot. Matt Free Bells Hill, Matthew Roberts, you mad bampot. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do to Bells Hill. Biffy Elizabeth Smith is watching. Biffy Elizabeth Smith, dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. Support our troops, says Andy. Yes, and support the senior officer of our troops, Her Majesty, the Queen. So there you are. Excellent stuff, regardless of your creed or your background. Uh, Adelson Alves Drew. Hi, my fried. So there you are. Hi, my fried. My fried what? So there you are. I think it's my friend, and you may have gone for the predictive text, which has stuck in fried. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. This is the new television. Get the word out there. Grant McNeil, do you still think pensioners should be sent to the Highlands to free up the houses? That will be you soon, not for a long, long time, but yet. Yes, it would be good to take the pensioners out the city and send them up to the Highlands. Uh, Kesha Hines, Dinky Doo, David Philp, Robert Miller, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching the Scotty McClue Show, one of the most popular shows on the internet and on social media. Everybody wants to watch Scotty McClue. Everybody wishes they were Scotty McClue. Dinky Doo from Newry in Northern Ireland, says Tony Shergold. You're over in Newry in Northern Ireland. Is that quite a good accent? Send I'm doing there, or am I, am I not getting it right? Uh, the Scottish soldiers are the bravest and the best soldiers, says Tony Mac. I think any soldiers are brave, uh, to be absolutely honest. Hello from Weems Bay, says Paul Spencer. Dinky do, Paul. Lovely to have you with us. Pensioners uh, should be shot at birth, says Matthew Roberts. Matthew Roberts, I suspect, vous êtes an idiot. So there you are. Uh, but that's what we're talking about there. Hi, Carlan, says Stephen Dunn. Guys, I must get a sip of tea. I haven't had any tea. Tea. Share, 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 share again. Come on. Let's get sharing and do a decent job of it this time. Stephen Wearmouth. Probs means fried tatty scone. Sorry. It's Sunday night, Scotty, after all. Yes, fried. Hello, my fried. Hello, hello, Scotty, says Ross O'Rourke. Lovely to have you with us. Bit of a step down from your talk radio show, Scotty. Not really. Two and a half million people have seen this show. So I would say it's promotion from talk radio. Grant McNeil, if it wasn't for commitments here, the Jacobites, the Highlands and Islands, a lot of sad dims on tonight, says John Wilson. Yes, but a lot of very, very clever people on as well. John Wilson, do you take sugar in your tea, Scotty? No, I don't, Jason. And I must have a tea. I am absolutely gagging for a sip of char. Mmm. 
Salmon, Salmon Butt. Hi, beautiful friend. Hi, Salmon, Salmon Butt. My beautiful friend, Wilma Hamilton. Hello, and two kisses, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. I've got my Argyle Pottery, guys. Absolute cracker. I'm just going to avail myself of a sup of tea. In fact, hello, says Wilma Hamilton. Hello, Wilma. No soldiers equals no armies equals no wars, says Eddie Doby Sr. So if a war comes, Eddie Doby Sr., then we make sure we lose it. Is that right? Um, Andy from RFC, do I keep in touch? No, I don't, Andy. Don't know anything about him. What about the money, says David Donnelly. What money for what, David Donnelly? Good evening, says Stuart Murray. Ooh. Good evening. Now... Talking of money, if any of you are feeling flush and you can spare a fiver or a couple of pounds, share, 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 you madman, Mary McClellan's making tablet, you. Think you do, says Les Hoy. Salmon, Salmon, but you from? I am from Facebook Live. Uh, where did you get the mug? Danoon Pottery. There we are, beautiful. They make them in Argyle, or they made them in Argyle. Beautifully manufactured, lovely, lovely mug. £2.60 for a Costa coffee. Uh, Scotty, so there you are. Well, the cost of everything's dear. From radio, says David Donnelly. No, not at all, David Donnelly. I do so many other things. Uh, so there you are. But we can always add a radio station to the Sunday night show at some point. I'll talk to some bosses. So there we are. Some drambu in that cup, said David Rental. No, I've got, um, I've got, I don't drink actually, David. Uh, I used to like a refreshment, but I don't bother with it now. And uh, I've got barley water there. Adam Carroll's watching. Dinky do. Wonderful. All right, Scotty boy, God bless you, says Jay Dempsey. Jay Dempsey, God bless you as well. Scotty, do you think Charles will ever be king, says Charles McLaughlin, or Charles McLachlan of Castle Lachlan. Uh, so there we are, originally the McLachlans of Lachlan, um, son of Lachlan. Scotty, how's it going? How are you going to be able to listen to you again? Used to listen to you many years ago when you were Scott FM. Loved and missed the show. Brilliant begin. It was a fantastic show. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio moment. So there you are. But I think Scotland's about to have some more radio moments so there we are excellent always loved listening so glad i found you so david donnelly on here you're doing a few other things and you're looking well i am extremely well david donnelly and i thank you scotty mcclue 26 years of scotty mcclue scotty i love the old photos of glasgow what do you think bring back the old days says edward mcclear depends what you mean by the old days if you're talking about typhoid and cholera and overcrowding and infant mortality and um uh, uh, you know, all the fumes and everything choking us all to death, smoking, heavy drinking of spirits, and people dying uh, at the age of about 40. Then, no, don't bring back bring the old days. But if you're talking about values and all the rest of it, yes. Let's have a look at the old days, the steam trains. Uh, I live in Renfrew, I do not speak well, I write English, but I think it's very, very funny. I like you. Who are you? Let's just check again. Adelson Alves Drayu, I live in Renfrew, yes. A fine place to live, I say. Scotty, do you think the Queen should have more bairns? We need a new royal baby. Well, we'll probably be getting some more royal babies soon, I would think. Who knows? Scott FM back in the day was immense, Scotty. And we fat Bob were a great listen, especially the Friday nut on nights. Yes, they were huge. Now, let's have some more sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. Can everybody share? Uh, we need another share right now. Stuart Buchan is watching and Dinky. You do if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Excellent to have you all with us. I'm just going to share again, guys. So there we are, and um, we'll write this one. Excellent stuff, you can't beat it, can you? 
on your page and shall we share on the dinky do page so we're sharing that one there it is everybody will get that right now and if the rest of you can share as well that would be phenomenal uh you're still alive god bless great britain says carla lilyquist so there you are carla lilyquist Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Do. I from Straven, says John Crawford, of course, because uh, Crawford John is not far from Straven. So there you are, John Crawford. Your namesakes must have lived around there for a long time. John Crawford is near to Crawford John. Yes, I am sharing your video. Uh, you will pray for my family. Yes, of course we'll pray. Uh, Scotty, where would you be without me, says Dina the Doug. Well, Dina the Doug. That is a loaded question. Where would we all be without you? I say. Where you? A little bit of a hiccup there in the broadcast. Who do you think will take over from the Queen, Mrs. Tony Mac? Well, Prince Charles, of course, if he wants to do that. I have a slight suspicion he may slim the monarchy down a little bit, but who knows? And we don't know if he'll call himself King Charles III. He could actually call himself... A number of names. His names are Charles Philip Arthur George. So he could actually call himself one of these. He could be Philip, or he could be King Arthur. That would be rather nice. Or another King George, King George the Seventh. My mother, God rest her, used to love listening to you in the 90s. You kept her company at her lowest, and she loved it. Thank you. She always loved your debates on single mothers. Always controversial, says Tony Shergold. Yes, and it says see more, Tony Shergold. But I can't risk see more because I might lose the broadcast. Hey, Scotty, how are you, says Craig Gardner. Excellent, Craig, and dinky do. Guys, uh, get on to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. There you will see a link to PayPal. Pop it on to that. That would be wonderful. I'm just going to take the skull. I'm just broadcasting at the moment. And whoever you are, I send love. And dinky do. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> there we are. So wonderful. I don't actually know who that was, but it was lovely to hear them. Uh, hi, Scotty. How are you? Excellent stuff. So there we go. The phone going in the middle of the program. We love that. Wonderful. Uh, as I say, I don't know who it was, but I send them love. Scotty, on the subject of the Queen, what's your opinion? Uh, surely they should have wrapped it when Freddie Brown... I don't really know what you're on about there, Matthew. Sorry about that. You'll have to forgive Scotty McClure's ignorance on that particular bit. Uh, good evening, Scotty. This is Michael Connor and Andy Hughes. Good evening, Scotty. Evening, Andy Hughes. Lovely to have you with us. Do you say that to all your callers? I do, Dina the Doug. I don't know who you are, but I love you lots. Excellent stuff. Uh, Sean McCormick is watching that's what it's all about there's not nearly enough love in the world spread the love i say uh, charles mclaughlin ppi scotty mcclue so there you are the wife or prince charles says derek jimmy walker uh, so there you are. Oh, on the telephone oh no we don't know who it was on the telephone derek jimmy walker but uh, excellent stuff so there we go um now r.i.p the uk and great Britain, says Eddie Doby Sr. Why do you think Brexit is going to split it apart and Ireland will unite and Scotland will go independent? Scotty, lol, you're the man, says David Clark. Lol, Scotty. Got a call from PPI. Oh, I see. Yes, PPI. No, I don't use PPI at this time of night. Sean McCormick, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Can I phone you? I need love, says Dino the Doug. Dino the Doug, you are the most loved Dino the Doug on this program, or even in the world. The universe loves you, Dino the Doug. So there you are. History for all those peoples. So there we go. Uh, Robbie Cross says, Adam Lambert took over as the lead vocals of Queen. Yes, of course he did. Yes, Freddie Mercury, I do know Robbie, but I didn't want to get into a discussion. Uh, Scotty will never get independence. Scotland, yes, Scotland may well get independence, but they need to take the Queen with them. And it would be very, very good for Scotland. So sharpen up on that one, Andy. Prince Andrew, says Derek Jerry Walker. No, it wasn't Prince Andrew. So they are, was it Bobby Fred the clansman 
Everybody's guessing who was on the phone now. Paul McCulley. It wasn't Bobby from the Klansman. Edward Strang still dinky do. And congratulations on the arrival of little Sophie. Tremendous to see you with her. So you are a proud uncle indeed, Ed. Excellent. Phone call. Uh, have you been in a car accident? I'm sitting there, David Rendell. No, no, I said the other day that I certainly had not, she said. It's about the accident, I said. I doubt this very much indeed. And she said, sorry, could you repeat that? And I just hung up. So there you are. Excellent stuff. And uh, Stephen Money's watching. Thank you, do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, excellent stuff, Stephen Money. We do appreciate you. And uh, who else have we got? Watch your website. And why are you not on the radio? I must say this is better, said David Clark. Right. Now, David Clark thinks that Scotty McClue on the television is much better than Scotty McClue on the radio. I know you have to take a swatch at my coupon, but I don't mind that. And I don't think you guys do either. Let's have some more sharing, guys. So there we are. If Scotland is to be independent, they have to be free of the EU. No, I think they need to go back into the EU. So being in a union with Westminster, not good for Scotland. Being in with the EU, good for Scotland. All right, was it the lovable lassie, Scotty? Says Frank Crombie, no. Who do we think was on the telephone? So there you are, excellent. Say your piece or forever hold on to your piece. So I'm going to share, guys. Are you all sharing as well? That would be tremendous. Right, so there we are. What groups are we not shared with? Let's just check. There we go. A share there. A share there. Marvellous. A share there. And a share there. Uh, any more? Excellent. A share there. And a share there. Right. I think that's us. Excellent. Bit of sharing there, guys. If you can all do the same. Scotty, don't call us. We'll call you, says Dina the Doug. What are you going to call me? Scotty, give us a song. We can vote on the EU after independence. Well, I'm sure you can, Eddie Doby Senior. Yes, we can have another referendum. And remember, referendums are for guidance only. So these dafties that are going, oh, democracy, democracy said. There was a lot of duff Jen at the referendum. So a lot of non-truth floating about. Some people had misconstrued the truth. We like to look at the people we're listening to, says Robbie Crossan. Sharice, says David Rendell. Rubbish, Scotty man. The UK stay as one. Stephen Weymouth, remember you're not a Scot. You're not from Scotland and you haven't been robbed blind for uh, 300 and 11 years. Scotty, say hi to Sarah Clark from Weems Bay, says Paul Spencer. Hi, Sarah Clark in Weems Bay. You make no sense, Scotty, if the EU makes an independent Scotland's laws, how is that independence? No, well, it doesn't, you see, because Scotland's got its own legal system, and it still has that. There are a number of EU laws, but they are for the protection protection of the people. Have a look at them. Hey, Scotty, love your show, says James Doran. Can you tell my wifey to hurry up with my curry? She won't listen to me, but she'll listen to you. Mrs. Doran, hurry up with James's curry. The man's gagging for a wee bit pakora. Uh, the man with the straight jacket, says Derek J. Walker. Right, I was going to give you all a song for Run Rig. Robert Duncan's watching Dinky Do. I say, come on, guys, get sharing. Some of you are slipping up which is not acceptable. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the well-stop broadcaster, and the first lord of the internet. Was it the lawyer on the phone? The Tony Mac, just joking. No, don't be silly, Tony. Why would I need a lawyer? I know the law. Inside out. So excellent up. Is it just me? Or is he making it up as he goes along? Who are you talking to, Addy? So there you are. Do tell us. Right, now, were we having a, a wee Loch Lomond, did we say? Uh. Okay. 
that we are if we are to keep a monarch after independence. No, well, we need to keep a monarch for goodness sake. Who's going to be the custodian of the Scottish crown? Kenneth Haig says hello. Hello, Kenneth. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us watching the Scotty McClue show. We're live Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one grateful nation, but for all nations. Uh, one more share. How's the time doing? Yes, we're getting tight for time. We've just got a few minutes left. So there you are. A little bit tight for time. And um, Derek Jimmy Walker, uh, no, we're not having that. We're not having names of people like that, Derek. We don't do that, okay? Scotty for King of Scotland, says Grant McNeil. Well, there you are if the job comes up, but we've got a monarch. Scotty, you're going to lend me your piano to practice on, says Dino the Doug. Have you been following Scotty McClue's piano lesson? Very, very important. I was sad to see Runrig sing farewell. Great band. Can you play the Rose of England? Says Rod Hard to say. If you take your shoes off and hum, Rod Hard to say, I shall play along. Uh, so there we are. Sturgeon's hiked up the price of booze, among others, says Paul McCulley. Yes, but that's to stop you doing in your liver. So there we are. Good night, Scotty. Have a good one, says Michael Connor. Andrew Michael Connor, lovely to have you with us. Thanks for joining us tonight. That goes for every single one of you. Oops, says Derek Jimmy Walker. It's all right. Oops, or the hoops. Uh, this is Mrs. Doran. Tell him to get off his fat. La, la, la. And uh, off the couch and make his curry. Ooh, James. Ooh. I think we've upset the Mrs. La, la. You'll have to pick up the pieces there. Def will be watching now, says David Clark. David Clark, never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. And for radio stations and television stations watching, of which there are many of you, I can see it here, then I say to you, Battlefield Rest is watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Battlefield Rest. And excellent to be with you on Facebook. We'll give you a wave. Wonderful stuff. Uh, so there you are. So what was I going to say to you? Oh, yes, television companies and radio companies who are watching right now, and there are many of you, you can't hide from McClue. I just am a decent fellow and wouldn't name you all. But what I would say to you, good night, good show, God bless, Tony Mac, Dinky Doo to you, James Bauer, Dinky Doo, Paul McCoy, ha, uh, so there we are. A excellent. Donnie Monroe was in the band. Yes, I remember Donnie used to work with Donnie at Scott FM. Dinky doo, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Yes, so there we are. So what we're talking about, radio companies, television companies watching. Um, this is the new television. Get into it. Get a hold of Scotty McClue and let's do big business for you as well as me. John Murray is watching Pamela Lynch. We Yes, you're very welcome, Pamela. You go for that. Uh, definitely not Scotty, brilliant, says David Clark. Excellent stuff. Never on your television will you see anything as good as an hour of Scotty McClue, un uninterrupted by commercials. Fair chuffed with this wee show, says Pamela Lynch. Thank you, Pamela. Very much appreciated. I'm fair chuffed with all the lovely people coming on it. Thoughts with the big gun, says Polly. Yes, Billy Connolly. We send our thoughts and prayers to him, a good man. A great show tonight, Scotty, says Frank Crombie. It's been wonderful, Frank, and I've loved being with you all, and thank you very much. Are you doing uh, a during the week pop-up, says Derek Jimmy Walker? Yes, and if you see anything with Scotty McClue on it, share it, share it, share it. Share, 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 share. Let's have one more share now. Is anyone going to the Scottish International Air Show on the 1st or 2nd of September in air? Says Scott O'Hare. I hope so I remember going to the Prestwick Air Show years ago, maybe, ooh, 1965 or something. It's fabulous. Another great show, says Scotty McClure. But I must tell you, I was hearing about an air show and the planes were landing in what would have been the car park and there was a big sign that said, no prop spinning in car park. <laughs> How about that? A few old tiger moths landing and all the rest of it tested by the wonderful late Hubert Broad. Look him up. 
Captain Hubert Stanford Broad, the test pilot for de Havilland, the chief test pilot for de Havilland aircraft, who tested the Tiger Moth. So there you are. Air show and airs brilliant, says Robert Miller. Excellent. You're making a comeback, Scotty, says Paul Wallace. We are indeed, Paul. Just discovered this tonight, says Francis Little. Francis, join us every Sunday night, 9 o'clock. There's a few thousand of us get together, and it's dinky-doo time with me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. You're very welcome. Come and join us. Go on to Scotty's Facebook page, go on to YouTube, go on to LinkedIn. In. How can I help the show grow, Scotty? Says Dino the Dog. Dino the Dog, you've already been very, very generous and popped money into PayPal or GoFundMe. Uh, so there you are, GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. What's your favourite meal? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. It depends on who I'm with, Derek Jimmy Walker, because like when I used to have a refreshment, it was the company that did it. All he's done is read out the chat. Says Andy RFC, that's what we do, Andy RFC. You're needing to think. Bairns and idiots should never see a job half done. And uh, that's what we do. Scotty McClue, the rhyme master. Scotty McClue, doing it for you. Dinky do, James Doran. Oh, and ask for money. Of course we've asked for money because we're growing the show. You're watching Work in Progress. And Addy, if you're not coping with it, nobody is forcing you to watch. There are two and a half million people have watched the Scotty McClure show live on Facebook live on a Sunday evening. This is show number 108, so you've got a lot of catching up to do on YouTube. My name isn't Addy, you idiot. Right, I think we'll dump you. I don't think we actually want you on here, Andy or Addy. Whatever, let's just dump him. Okay, guys, there we are. We've blocked him. Right, we shall never see him on this show again. He's gone. Finished. Finito. Night night, Scotty, says Frank Crombie. What a good note to finish on, Frank. Time to go. Right, I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Wheatazain, au revoir, and a cheery o. I'll play myself out. Here we go. <laughs> stuff. Good night, my darlings. Take care of yourselves. This is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, join us next week at nine o'clock sharp, God willing, weather permitting, GWWP. Until then, Scotty McClure has left the building. Dinky-doo!